you about the time when I got into a fight with the bus driver, the MTA bus driver. One day, me and my ride was coming from, and the bus drops us off. Um, the bus drops me off right on the corner where I need to take my other bus to go to my house. And it drops her off a block away from her house. So we get on the same bus or whatever. So we got, we were going, we are going. It was probably about four people on the bus plus us. So we got to the corner where um, I was to come, where both of us come off and I was going to go across the street and take the bus. So it was coming up to the corner for me to get out, for us to get out. And so both of us stood up. I walked to the front because I normally walk to the front and look. <clears throat> um, I can usually like see down the block to see if my bus is coming. So I looked and I saw the bus was actually on the next corner. And we caught the light. So the light turned red. The bus coming that I need to get on. Light was on green, so I'm thinking in my head like, oh shit, I'm about to miss this damn bus, and this bus don't come every no 10, 15 minutes. If you miss that bus, you're going to stand up there a, 40, a good 45 to an hour for the next bus. So I'm like, oh hell no, I ain't finna do that. So, I mean, I did this a couple of times, like there's no problem. I simply went to the bus driver, it was a dude, simply went to the bus driver and asked him, you know, sir, can I get off the bus? I'm trying to catch that bus over there. He looked at me and was like, no. Ooh, I know. So I was like, and I looked at and looked at my, my, my friend, and she was like, because she already knew, because like, <laughs> she already knew that it was about to get turned up. I'm like, sir, I'm asking you nicely. Like, you know how these buses run, and I need to get off to catch the bus to go home. Like, you can't just open the door right here. We're, we're stopped. You're going across. No, I have to stop in front of the bus stop. And he just, he just started getting arrogant and rude. No, I cannot open the door, and I have to stop in front of the bus stop. That's not the bus stop policy. That's not MTA policy. I'm like, who are you? I'm like, for, first of all, you need to calm down because I came to you very nicely and asked you to get off, let me off the bus so I can catch another bus. He was just, <clears throat> he did something. And we started going back and forth and um, like really dead arguing. And my friend made arguing with, with him and then this lady it was this older lady sitting in the front of the bus she tried to jump in and tell him telling us oh just sit down and wait wait until he stops the bus in front of the bus stop i turned around i'm like first of all you need to mind your business and let me handle mine and you stay back there so He's still talking out of his, like, he was real rude. Like, you know, I, I'm a really rude ass, too. But <laughs> I guess I met my match that day. But he just kept on popping off of the mouth, popping off of the mouth. And I just kept getting fluming. Flum it have a pole um, that separates um, the driver or whatever. So I had my hand over, like, you know, just resting on the pole or whatever. And he gonna tell me, Use your hand off my pain. Use your hand off the pain. Just get your hand off the pain, man. Well, I'm like, I'm not moving nowhere. You can't tell me where to move. I'm like, I'm standing right here. I'm getting off the bus right now. So why he pushed my hands? So he pushed my hand. I swung at him. And my friend there, she, this time he already got across the street in front of the bus stop. And he's like, I'm not opening the door. The lady that was sitting there that told me something, she's going to be like, Oh, you can't put your hands on that bus driver. That thing is going to stall. And you can go to jail for that and blah, blah, blah. Call the cops, then. Call the cops. And my friend, she was, let me show you guys. <laughs> I got to show y'all. Door. 
she's at the door, the bus door. Mind you, the door has to be opened by the bus driver. The bus driver has to pull his little lever, and the bus, the bus door opens like that. So she is at the door, like, I'm like this, pushing the door like this. <laughs> yo, like I saw her, and I'm like, yo, that is my bitch. Like, I'm there arguing with the lady, arguing with him, and then she's not saying, like, she, like, she was just concentrating. She's like, yo, we not finna go to jail today. <laughs> she was just concentrating on breaking open that door. And mind you, she got, she didn't get the door open, like, she got it, um, cracked. She pulled the door, and she was like, yo, come on. <laughs> she was like, oh, we flew, we came out, mind the, came out the bus. Um, we squeezed our ass through the door, the little crack that she managed to get open for us to squeeze through. <clears throat> and, um, when we got out, the door opened. So, he came out the bus and said something. So, I'm still there arguing. I actually missed my damn bus. So, I was like, you know what, I'm not even going to stand at that bus stop. I actually walked home that day. <laughs> um, that night... She called me and she was like, she was like, we gotta watch the news. She was like, somebody assaulted, somebody assaulted the bus driver and um is about to come over the news at ten o'clock, and they're looking for the person. I'm like, huh? She was like, yo, we about to go to jail. I was like, calm down. <laughs> I was like, calm down. We're not going to jail. She was like, no. So come to find out, when we looked at the news, it was somebody else. It was somebody else um, on some other bus line or whatever. But that was crazy. Um, me and her, we had some pretty fun times. Some pretty fun, some pretty scary, crazy times that we can sit down and laugh at now. But that's my rider right there. <laughs> anyway, that is it for my story. And I will see you guys next time.